This is your 10 minute hips and spine mobility routine. I recommend doing this every morning for a pain free body. I'm Action Jacqueline. You don't need any equipment at all. Let's go ahead and get started. Legs are gonna start outside of your shoulders, hands on your hips, and we're gonna do four big circle rolls all the way around. Ah, oh, that feels so good, doesn't it? So we're just mobilizing our hips, our body, getting right into ourselves and using this time to connect with our muscles and really allowing our body to move freely because we're stuck so much in our chairs desks and things like that and this is going to really help our body move into the range of motion that it was meant to do beautiful and just breathing nice and easy arms spread out wide and we're gonna fold right here hands come down to the floor and we're gonna take side lunges side to side so make sure that the toes are pointed straight ahead and then you're going to bend into your knee, lower the hips down and switch to the other side, just like that. We're just going side to side. This one feels really good because it opens up your inner thighs, really helps to open up the hips. You get a little heat going through the legs. This is one of my favorites because it really is so effective for mobility, for warming up, for just allowing the hips to be free and mobile. Good, now we're gonna take this down into our skandasana. So drop the hips as low as you can. You can place a block under your hips if you need to. And I'm pressing my elbow into my knee. That's going to help open up the stretch a little bit more. Good, now we're just going to rock side to side just a few more times. Good, just pushing into the knee, letting the hips drop down. You wanna make sure that you're breathing, your breath is so key for opening up the body. Good, now go back into that skandasana right here, lowering the hips, making sure that that heel is down on your left foot. Okay, so now we're gonna open it, twist open, and then you're going to lower the elbow down, look all the way up towards your fingertips. Good, press into the inner thigh as you twist to look up, and then lower onto the elbow, twist to look up. This one is amazing for your spine, your thoracic spine, your low back. So if you've ever felt any sort of tension in your low back, this is going to be a perfect stretch for you. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna grab onto my ankle. If this is available to you, go ahead and join me here. Otherwise, you can keep doing the twisted turns that we just did. Nice, and then come on up beautiful work. I'm sure you're starting to feel your whole body open up and it feels amazing to get that blood flow going. Let's go into Skandasana on the other side. Again, make sure that right heel is down into the floor. I'm pressing my elbow into my knee to really help open up and deepen the stretch. Good, now look up towards the sky and then place the elbow down, twisting from side to side getting that beautiful extension through the chest and across the body and reaching up towards the sky. Taking in the beautiful views here of Aruba. Nice, keep going, feeling into your body. All right, and let's hold here. And if you wanna take that deeper stretch with me, go ahead and join me now. Otherwise, you can continue going in the twists and turns, dropping to the elbow and looking up. And take a few deep breaths wherever you're at right now. Feeling just grateful for your body. Nice work. All right, let's move on to our next exercise. So I just come forward onto my knee. We're gonna take a few lunges here. So hands are on the inside of the right leg. And I'm just lowering and lifting my hips, allowing the body to naturally and slowly move into a new range of motion. You don't wanna ever move or jerk too fast. All right, now bring the hand behind the head. This is one of my favorites. This one feels so good. Elbow's gonna come down, and then you're gonna lift and twist and look up towards the sky. So this is going to open up your hips and your spine, your thoracic spine. It feels amazing because, again, we get so stuck in our linear positions, and this one is just opening up into all those little tight crevices that we don't normally touch too often. Nice job. Okay, so now I'm going to lower onto my elbows to take it even deeper right here. Make sure that you're relaxing in your shoulders and I'm gonna kick my heel to my butt. We're gonna do this five times. So this is really, really deep in the quad, in the hip flexors, and you might even feel those hamstrings working, which is great because we wanna work the opposite muscle of what we're stretching. Nice job. Just soften those shoulders. Remember to always just stay relaxed in your body and just know that your body is becoming more flexible with each and every breath that you take. 
Good, and we're switching sides here. So hands are on the inside of the left leg now. Place the hand behind the head, and let's twist elbow down to the floor, elbow go up to the sky. Good, lower down to the floor, and lift up towards the sky. Breathing, inhaling slowly in and out through the nose. It's really no exact pattern of breath, but rather I want you to feel into your body and feel what feels best as far as your breathing pattern goes. Just keep the breath steady. Now lower onto the elbows. And then we're gonna kick the heel to the butt right here. And again, you're gonna probably feel those hamstrings start to engage and work, which is good as the quad and hip flexors open up and release. Nice, and those engaged hamstrings is also going to help the body to know that it's safe and okay for the quad and the hip flexor to release there. Nice, and then come on up and let's move on to our next exercise here. So our next exercise is going to be frog pose. So you're gonna come down onto our elbows and let the knees open up nice and wide and just allow your body to sink down. Let gravity really help you here and your breath. So when you breathe deeply in and out through the nose, that signals to your body that it's okay and it's safe to let go. It's going to help tap into your parasympathetic nervous system, which will help the muscles to relax and to let go. So just allow yourself to to sink in and if this feels good for you pause the video and just keep holding this stretch because this one feels really good and gets really deep into those hips all right let's come out of that now our next exercise is going to be hip rock so stick the leg out to the side hands underneath shoulders and we're just going to rock back and forth allowing the hips to now move in this direction really good for the inner thighs as well Now we're gonna add another thoracic spine stretch here. So just thread yourself all the way through so you land on your shoulder and head and just hold here. And I use the opposite hand to navigate myself to go deeper if I want to. Good, and then just allow yourself to breathe. Come out of it the same way we came into it. Place the hand down, good, and let's switch sides. So stick the leg out straight to the side and then rock back and forth in your hips, allowing the hips to open up and we're really hitting every single range of motion. The hips has a hip and socket, so it has all kinds of different ways that it can move. It's very, very mobile, but what happens is we stop moving in those directions and it gets stuck. Good, let's take our thoracic stretch, lower the head all the way down to the floor using that opposite hand to help navigate the stretch and take it deeper if you choose to. And take a big deep breath here and release. And then we're going to step forward into this lunge and I want you to squeeze your booty, squeeze your booty a lot. So I'm in a 90-90 position here. I place my hand over the knee and then you're going to take a little twist and if you can, drop the hips forward and back. So we're just gonna rock forward and back. Just make sure that you keep squeezing the glute. We wanna make sure that the glute back there is turned on because this is going to help signal to the body that it's okay to actually then release the front of the body. Good. Just little rocks right here. Beautiful, make sure you're still breathing and then let's switch sides. And of course, if you need something underneath your knee, you can put a pillow there. So make sure you squeeze the glutes, place the, foot, the hand on the knee and just little rocks forward and back. Nice and easy, relaxing the whole body but keeping that glute squeezed to help signal that it's okay to let go and relax now. You're doing beautiful. Nice, and then let's let that go. And we're gonna move into our final stretch here together. We're gonna do our 90-90 stretch. This is really great for both external and internal rotation of the hip. So we're in a 90-90 position and we're gonna lean forward and then try to lift up that back foot as much as you can as you lean forward in the front leg. Then we're gonna twist and turn towards the back leg without moving the feet at all. Notice I stay right there. And then I'm gonna rock forward again if you can, lift up that back leg, and then we're gonna twist again, grab the knee and heel, and just moving in and out of these positions, and taking it at your own pace, of course. Let's switch sides now. 
same position, 90 in the front, 90 in the back, lifting the heel up as much as you can and working with your range of motion. And every day that you come back here, notice how your mobility and flexibility improves. Notice how the pain in the knee goes away, the pain in the low back goes away. When you start to open up and pay attention to the hips, it's so incredibly important. And I'm so proud of you for being here and taking care of your body. You did an amazing job. I'm Action Jacqueline. Make sure that you comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.